parents, grandparents, aunts, uncles, brothers, sisters, anyone who takes care of kids, I need you to listen up. Guys, we are talking about drowning. Drowning is a big deal and it's probably more common than you even thought. Did you know that 10 people every day die from unintentional drowning? That's right, it's the fifth leading cause of unintentional injury deaths for all ages. And you know who's the most affected? Um, it's the little tykes. That's right. Uh, kids one to four years old have the highest rates of drowning. That's right. They die more from drowning, kids one to four years old, than any other cause except for birth defects. Guys, this is a big deal. And you know what? And with the summertime and warm weather comes pools, which by the way is awesome. And But sometimes oceans and lakes and rivers and things like that. But water safety could not be more important. Guys, I am Dr. Jen Caudill, practicing family physician, on-air health expert, and video creator. We are talking about seven risk factors, seven factors that put your kids, your family, your friends, etc., at risk for drowning. You need to know these. Take them to heart. The first thing is, the first risk factor is not being able to swim. Now, that might sound like, well, duh, but think about it. It's really true. Those children, young adults, etc., who can't swim are at greater risk for drowning. So what does that mean, parents, caretakers, loved ones, etc., aunties? Um, make sure your children and your family members and friends learn how to swim. That's right. Make sure that your kids get into swimming lessons. You know, my mother um, actually never learned how to swim. Hey, Ma. <laughs> and, um, you know, I'm really grateful to her, uh, even though she has never learned how to swim. She tried many, many times, by the way. She understood the importance of uh, learning how to swim, and she made sure my brother and I had swimming lessons growing up. That's been really crucial to our being comfortable in the water. So making sure that your kids know how to swim and the kids that you love and are around know how to swim is so important. Second thing is making sure that there are proper barriers around pools. This is a risk factor for drowning uh, when people don't have proper barriers. So what am I talking about with this? I'm talking about not just a fence around your pool, if it's, it's like in your backyard, but making sure it's say a four-sided fence. Um, keeps the pool and, and separates the pool from the yard and separates the pool from the house. Get what I mean? You want four sides to that fence and you want it to make sure that it, it really sort of secures that perimeter of the pool. Um, also, the third risk factor for drowning is lack of supervision. Now, I know we all say, well, yeah, 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 you gotta watch your kids in the pool. But no, I really mean you gotta watch your kids in the pool. That means you're not like, how's little Bobby doing? Oh, he's fine. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about like no phones, no conversation watching your kids and watching them closely. I'll never forget um, when uh, we were growing up, my brother and I, my family, we were on vacation with another close family of ours. And we were staying at a hotel that had a pool. And I remember um, the family member, uh, the family friend, the young boy who's part of the family we were vacationing with, he literally so quickly just sort of dipped underneath the water and by the grace of God, my dad saw him in time. My dad had clothes on, like, you know, he had dress shoes on and like slacks and stuff like that. We might've come from dinner, I don't know. But my dad literally jumps in the pool um, and grabs, you know, the child up and pulls him out of the water really quickly. You know, the super, and I'll never forget that because it was so scary. Supervision could not be more important because literally in the blink of an eye, just turning away, um, something could change in the water when you're, when you're, uh, when your kids, your family members are swimming. Okay. Now the next risk factor, by the way, is location. Believe it or not, the location of the water oftentimes determines drowning risk. Okay. So hear me out when I say this, first of all, kids age one to four most commonly drown, um, at home swimming pools. Okay. So it's the home swimming pools that are the biggest risk for the little ones. However, for kids 15 and older, natural water settings, lakes, rivers, oceans, etc., those bodies of water present an increased risk for drowning for those kids of, of that age. Interesting, huh? Um, so now we are on uh, risk factor number five. No life jackets or wearing sort of uh, protective gear when swimming. Very, very important. You want to make sure that your kids are properly dressed, not just with swimming trunks and bathing suits, but also life jackets. That is very, very important. Um, also, alcohol. This is the sixth risk, risk factor. Obviously, we're not talking about the, the little ones, the young ones, but we're 
talking about for adolescents and adults, adolescents should not be drinking alcohol, by the way. Um, but for adults, you know, um, drinking alcohol is a risk factor for drowning. When we drink alcohol, our senses are impaired. We are not thinking the way we would if we had not been drinking alcohol. That increases risk for drowning. So please, please be careful. I would also argue that for those who are supervising kids, alcohol may serve as a distraction to keep you from uh, supervising your kids exactly the way that you should be. So be very careful with that as well. Um, and number seven, believe it or not, seizure disorders. Uh, a person with a seizure disorder is at higher risk for drowning um, by nature of having the seizure disorder. I don't know if you guys knew this, but that's very, very important to keep in mind especially if you are taking neighborhood kids or family members or people to the pool, uh, you may want to find out. In fact, I'd recommend you find out they have a seizure disorder. If there are any underlying medical conditions that you should be aware of, because once again, seizure disorders can in risk, uh, excuse me, seizure disorders can increase their risk of drowning, believe it or not. Guys, and then the last thing I want to mention is I cannot underestimate the importance of knowing CPR. Shoot, maybe I'll do a video on that. We should do a video on that, shouldn't we? Oh my gosh, yes. CPR, oh my gosh. You should know CPR. Make sure your kids know how to do CPR. Talk to your kids, your family members about pool safety, not just the risk factors that I mentioned, but talk to your kids about what to do in the event of an emergency, how to call for help and things of that nature. Really being prepared as we go out into the swimming pools and the bodies of water, especially since we're getting out into the world, um, is going to be so, so, so important. Guys, um, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I hope this video was helpful. I do all sorts of videos on all sorts of health topics. Uh, I'm a practicing family physician. I'm also an on-air health expert as well. Guys, if you have, well, by the way, I should say first, um, please share this video with other people. I want to get the word out as much as I can about the importance uh, of uh, drowning safety, making sure you're minimizing risk factors for drowning, keeping safe in the water and all that good stuff. Of course, I want you guys to swim and enjoy and like, live it up um, while we can when the weather is warm. Um, that is so, so important. Um, for those of you guys on Facebook, if you have not liked and followed my page, I invite you to do so. Uh, I do daily videos. And by the way, uh, for those of you who are on YouTube, I don't normally keep both of these in the same video, but I'm going to. For those of you who are on YouTube, uh, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click the little bell for updates. And if you've not liked me on Facebook and you're on YouTube, and you've not liked me on YouTube and you're on Facebook, I said that right, um, I invite you to visit me on the other platform because there is different content at times. Um, guys, I, I do daily videos. I'll be back very soon with more information about all sorts of stuff. Uh, guys, remember, keep it locked here. Keep it safe for the summer. Uh, I'm Dr. Jen Caudill. I'll see you soon.